everyone hello 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 this is for scorpio how are you guys doing so scorpio we're going to get into your bonus read and we're going to see what the angels have for you now scorpio i did do your main and also your singles but i'm going to do um your 2023 read as well to see what messages we have tonight for you I think this is the end of December. I want to do that video for you. So let's get started into your bonus read. Um, just your regular bonus for the night. But I felt like, you know, to do another video. So let's see what this um, energy has to say, first of all, for Scorpio. What is this energy saying, angels? <clears throat> okay, so we have... I don't want to fight. So I feel like this person knows that there's some conflict towards you and them. I feel like this person is ready to talk about this, ready to find out what can they do to actually improve this situation and not make it worse. I don't feel like this person wants to come and fight. Okay, so, <clears throat> wow, we have more messages. Maybe we need time and also please don't give up. So definitely this person is kind of like, you know, flat, like having the white flag out, you know, they're surrendering to whatever this is um, and want to actually make things work with you. On the back of the deck, they're saying I made a mistake. Okay, so let's just keep this here and see what the angels have for you, Scorpio. Scorpio bonus, please. What's going on for Scorpio bonus? Thank you, angels. Oh, I'm feeling this beautiful new beginning for you, Scorpio. It just came right through me as I was shuffling the cards. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, thank you, angels. We have the King of Swords. Wow. We have the hangman, we have the page of swords, we have the um, three of pentacles. So there's no communication between you and this person. You're coming off very similar as well, okay? So this kind of like, this could be the problem between you and this person. A very You guys think alike, you know? If you're thinking, well, I'm not going to budge, this person is thinking, I'm not going to budge. So Scorpio, it could be dating a Scorpio, Scorpio, or... This person could just be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy, okay? Um, I'm seeing Pisces here as well. I'm seeing another air. So there's a lot of movements that are blocked, and there's a lot of air qualities here. So it's like living in the moment, not really thinking about the long-term um, situations that might occur in the future, I feel like if this person is going to make a decision or going to make the movements, it's going to be with a page of swords. Someone who is just going to come in and, you know, act like nothing is a big deal. And it's very hard for you to deal with this kind of energy because this person is not trying to take whatever is going on between you and them very seriously, if that makes sense. So there's a huge disappointment between you and this person when it comes to being together in a three of pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles doesn't have to be a third-party situation where this person is saying, I made a mistake. For those of you, this is a mistake that they have made with someone close. It could be not even close to you, but someone from work, for example, with this Pentacles here. Someone that they got, they're in a group with, or maybe they're a manager to this person, a group, and things just got, you know, out of whack or out of, you know, norm. And then they got themselves in a situation. So <clears throat> my cat is trying to open the door. <laughs> so cute. Um, do you need help, baby? Okay, I'll, I'll help you. Come on. Come on, you can go. You can go. All right. So, yeah, this is what I'm seeing for you so far. So let's see what's going on between you and this person. Can I have more um, messages, Angel? 
I'm also getting Pisces energy. I'm feeling this person is like, damn, I did too much for you. <laughs> kind of situation. Again, you know, this energy, like, not making any movements, kind of waiting for the right time. But there's like, how many more fingers do I have to cut off for this relationship? How many more sacrifices I have to make here to discredit myself or to make myself less to make this work? It's like this person is saying, it's like they're making it all about themselves. And I'm not, when I read you guys, just know that I'm not standing up for this person. I'm just trying to read this person's energy. And it's like, they're like, I know eventually I'm going to talk to this person, but right now I'm just chilling. This is what they're saying, you know? They're like, I will come in when it feels right, when I'm ready. Nobody's going to force me to do nothing, you know? But it's like, I don't feel like this person wants to argue, you know, just like this card says, I don't want to fight. They're not the fighting kind, you know? I feel like they will run away from conflicts, like, and the way they run away is like they get really super angry and like, let's, I'm not here to hear about myself and what I've done wrong. I'm out. They just run away instead of trying to sit there and fix things. So yeah, let me just keep going because <laughs> I'm getting twined in this person's energy. Okay, but you guys are very similar. It's like you got both. I'm getting power struggles here. Oof, power struggle. Everyone wants to have the upper hand in this connection. This is, okay, this is what I'm being told. So we saw the strength first. A whole bunch of cards flipped for you. So let me just put this here, the strength. We have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords. Well, a lot of swords. The Six of Cups, all right? There's going to be some huge messages coming in. I'm also getting the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God, the Eight of Pentacles. Girl, get it together. The Eight of Wands. The Three of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Wands in reverse. The Six of Wands, which is very interesting. Okay. And then we have the High Priestess in reverse. So, not sure how you feel about this person. You're kind of like... A lot of you are feeling ill. Why am I feeling like you're feeling ill in the High Priestess? Because you're so, like, stressed out about this relationship. Um, this is the vibe that I'm getting, okay? I feel like there's a lot of things that are going to happen very quickly with this um, Six of Wands. You know, a lot of accomplishments. Meantime, a lot of things are going wrong. So, with the Moon, it's like you're holding back. A lot of what you truly feel from this for this person or trying to act like it doesn't bother you when you do see them but I feel like for a lot of you when you don't see them your emotions are all over the place a lot of you might be shedding a lot of tears falling into depression anxiety and really just diving into your job or what you love or what you desire and that is where you're planting your most seeds um, Scorpio so I'm seeing you very successful in that situation now because of some kind of negative form of thinking or some kind of like I don't believe in this new beginning or anything is going to occur or happen into my life um, the way I want it and the time when I want it to happen if that makes sense it's in reverse so this thing that is supposed to happen when it comes to your career when it comes to love, when it comes to being single and celebration is moving to you very slowly. But the universe is saying, look, you know, everything is on time, you know, because I'm seeing you very happy. I'm seeing you very happy celebrating. A lot of you are moving very single, entwined with yourself, you know, exploring, you know, your friendships and trying to work on those I feel like when it comes to love, it's kind of hard for you because you're going to love this single life. Even though a lot of you Scorpios been by yourself for a long, long time. Um, and this is going to be, when I say been by yourself, look, um, you know, a lot of you never been in a real relationship. It's different when you just met someone you hook up with them, you know, a month, two months. That's not a real relationship. That's just a, a, a someone passing through. I'm talking about a real form relationship, a year and more. 
okay? <laughs> and you have a title because you can mess with someone and you don't, they don't claim you. You can't really claim them out in public. So that's what I'm talking about. So be very careful, you know, for some of you who are like, I've never been in a relationship before, but I know you've been with someone before, unless you're a virgin, okay? <laughs> so, because I'm reading the cards and ah, the cards just don't lie. So everything here is showing me that everything is happening on time. It's just the way of your thinking and what you, um, how you see things happening in your life. So you have a new opportunities that you're planting seeds, seeds that you don't even know that you're planting is coming for the surface. So a lot of you, you're doing things um, on your daily basis, like going to work and doing things that you're supposed to do, but that's actually planting seeds for your success. So I'm seeing very successful things like you're going to be acknowledged. You're going to be, um, for some of you, um, promoted or into a bigger opportunity. I'm seeing a lot of people going through you to get things done. Um, when I do see the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, it's a very important card. It's a, a lot of achievement that is going to be coming towards you, okay? But in the center of all things, it's your mind, okay, and how you see things. So it could be moving very slowly for you, but everything is on time. There's some quick messages that's coming towards you as well from the past, okay? With this Eight of Wands, and it talks about this could be love, you know, this could be things that this person wanted you to know. For some of you, I mean, even this card, it means a form of love that this person has for you, a really deep form of love. And this is why they're moving so quickly to come towards you. Um, but a lot of you don't know where this is going. This is what I'm feeling because your emotions are all over the place when it comes to this person. But anyways, so let's get to this Ace of Cups. The, the same way the high, the high Priestess is showing up in reverse. You are not sure what where this is going. You're not sure about this person. You're not sure about your feelings, what you should do here. So this is in reverse. There's a lot of things coming up to the surface now because you are searching. You're searching in the high priestess. You're searching for the truth. This person is saying they made a mistake. They don't want to fight. Please don't give up. They feel so afraid that they're going to lose everything, lose you. Maybe we need time, time apart, you know, time to think. Time to get our thoughts together before, I feel like what this person is all about, they don't like conf confrontation, so they want to give you enough time. And this explains the hangman, you know, this explains the page of swords being here. They want to give you enough time. This is just the immaturity of the way of their thinking and how they feel and how they see things. So I also see that you're going to make a huge decision here. You're going to have to because you feel like things are just not going to be the same between you and this person. You gave this person many chances many opportunities and you're still waiting for them to actually see you and really see you. Um, in the five of cups, I definitely feel like this person disappointed you big time. They were never there. Okay. They abandoned this relationship. Okay. Even though they think that they were there, but they really hurt you by that. You felt alone. Like you were by yourself and you might as well just be single. This is what you're saying. Like every time I try to be in a real relationship, it just doesn't work out. And this doesn't have to be, because it's five cups here. It doesn't have to be just this person. It could just be a lot of opportunities that came your way. You know, four more opportunities, for instance, that never worked and it felt the same way and it's triggering you. But when this happened and occurs, you guys, a five of cups for me, it just really reminds you to reflect on yourself. Because if this person could affect you this way, make you feel so alone, you know, in the universe, you know, that means there's something else is going on within you that you need to take time to figure out yourself, okay? You really need to take time to figure out yourself, Gemini, about this situation. And learn how to be in your own energy. Learn how to, you know, know that you are enough no matter who comes and who goes. Um, and this is what that card represents for me. Then you have the Six of Cups. They're coming back. They're coming back, you know? I already told you that from the very start, but it and it started that way and then it ended that way. But the feelings are not going to be the same when they do come back. It's like you're losing a lot of feelings or you're losing the way that you care about this person in the very end anyway. And this person knows this because guess what? When you use the hangman here in a connection, cross watchers, you tend to get like put this relationship at risk. 
this relationship is already at risk and you're tending you're you're really like trying to risk it by waiting too long if this if you truly care about this person like in the eight of wands coming towards this person because you see this person is going to be single going to be happy going to be celebrating maybe even meeting someone else you know ready to mingle okay ready to mingle and once and when gemini finds someone that they're interested in they give that person that title of the main one you know so this is what i see for you now let's see what's on the back of the deck i have the nine of swords this is what's coming you guys so be very careful to protect your mental health here know that you cannot do anything or make anything um better you just have to proceed on a lot of you are going back and forth from the past you know this is a past situation but i feel like when this person gets to you the memories are going to be there on their end and then you have the the strength card here as well so just know that you're strong enough the angels want you to know that you're strong enough to solve everything here in leo so we have pisces leo what else we have here that is major the cancer vibes okay so that's major cards coming up for me that who this person might be okay but we do have gemini aquarius and libra elements we do have um who else is coming up i think that's it right yeah that is it that is it but that's all i see for you today just be careful because what you don't see coming is the nine of swords you know waking up in sweats and can't even sleep can't even eat because of your past, you're still, you know, highly depressed or falling into some depression with this situation. So make sure you're healing. Like I said, with this five of cups, very important card, you guys, is not just about this person. It's about you as a person. It's about why this person has such power over you and why they make you feel this way. Like everything is gone. Like there's no opportunity left for you this is it and for some of you with this five of cups you're feeling like i'm never going to be married again i'm never going to do this again and th this is it for me this is this person is it for me but the truth is that you still have two cups behind you you still do have two cups behind you So this is what I have for you. I hope this resonates, you guys. Um, if it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.